You will ask, why does this radio station mean so much? Why is the reaction the way it is? And I really can't speak for others. I can speak for myself. My parents split when I was 11. We split Christmas, and when I was at Dad's house, he gave me a clock. And this one had a beam at the top that shined the time onto the ceiling. I wanted to make sure it was set correctly, so I went to the station I heard in the back of the car, WCBS, to make sure the time was exactly right. And I listened and listened, and before long, I became hooked as a 12, 13-year-old. When I was 14, my dad drove me to the radio station in New York City during morning rush hour traffic. And he introduced me to the place I'm now signing off in 2024. Ray Martell, here's your last request. Chris Olivero, Ben Meverek, Ivan Lee, our bosses pushed for and got the authority to let us have our goodbyes, to have a last show. That's something very rare. I thank them for that. And I thank my dad for driving me into New York City in 1978. Parents, you never know what impact these random acts of love and attention may have on your children. I'm Wayne Cabot, and for the final time, this is WCBS New York. In New England. Lover to snap it back to May. A second down, a quick throw to the right. That's Harris comes right. back to May's catch. Puts away from an ankle tackle. Heads to the five. Dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Patriots. The call from 98 by the Sports Hub as the Commanders beat the Patriots. But the story was the New England quarterback situation. Jacoby Brissett started and played one series before leaving with a shoulder injury. Rookie Drake May came in and went 13 for 20 for 126 yards and a touchdown with no interceptions. Jane Daniels had the night off for Washington. The Dolphins have cut quarterback Mike White, paving the way for Skylar Thompson to be the backup in South Florida. Now turning to baseball, we're in Kansas City. The Phillies overpower the Royals in the rubber game of their series 11-3. That puts their lead over the Braves in the NL East to six after Atlanta's loss to Washington. Girls and Astros played in Sunday Night Baseball. Houston salvaged the split of the four-game series in Baltimore, winning by a count of 6-3. to three. The Orioles now game and a half back of the Yankees. That's because Aaron Judge hit his 50th and 51st home runs of the year as the Yankees rolled past the Rockies 10-3. The Diamondbacks have now won six in a row. They finished off a sweep of the White Sox with a 7-5 victory. Arizona sits atop the wild card race, but remains three back of the first place Dodgers. Nana West, L.A. beat Tampa 3-1. Lake Mary of Florida is Little League World Series champion. They do it in dramatic fashion, falling behind, but coming back to win 2-1 in eight innings. Hey, it's Michelle Smallman, and coming up Monday, college football is underway, and I'm going to tell you who the biggest threat is to Ohio State and Georgia. It's on Sportsman, like 6 a.m. Eastern, right here on ESPN Radio, ESPN2, and ESPNU.